Uh, Mr. Silver, your uh, predictions or your forecasting of American elections is based to a large extent on aggregating very many polls, if I understand correctly. Yeah. Um, in 2008, again, if I understand correctly, uh, there were uh, there was a lot of data to work with, uh, whereas in 2012, uh, there are fewer and fewer polls being published, uh, largely because of the migration from uh, land-based telephones to cell phones. Again, if I understand correctly, it makes it more expensive to do opinion polling. Um, I was wondering uh, what implications that might have for you in the future in 2016, and whether you are confident that you will still be able to run uh, the same simulations working with less data. Thank you. So, uh, so you know, we had a big drop off in the number of polls we had in the U.S. from 2008 to 2012, partly because, uh, you know, a lot of polls are produced by newsrooms and newsroom budgets are being decreased quite a bit. Um, also, you know, frankly, uh, Mitt Romney was not as compelling a figure as you had in 2008 with um, Obama as the first African American major party candidate and Hillary Clinton and Sarah Palin and John McCain, um, much more compelling figures than, than Mitt Romney, who might be the most boring person ever to run for president, I think. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but we still had, by the end, enough polls to work with. We still had, like I said, a couple of dozen polls in each state toward the end of the campaign. Um, you could still cut that number in, in half and probably be okay. Um, um, but, you know, eventually you probably have a further decrease if budgets are, are constrained. Uh, one good development, though, we had in 2012 is that online polls actually worked fairly well in the U.S., where Google is now doing polling. Uh, a company called YouGov, which is also uh, prominent over here, is doing polling. They got pretty good results in the U.S., so that's encouraging. Um, um, the problem with telephone polls now is that people, especially young people, don't really use their phones as calling devices or communication devices anymore, really, right? They use them for, for texting and browsing the web and for the map functions, whatever else, right? Um, but young people almost certainly don't use landlines. And in their cell phones, they don't really necessarily take a stranger's phone call as much. So response rates are decreasing. But if you can reach people online, then obviously that's going to be um, have to be a part of the answer for better or worse going forward. And the fact that those polls had a pretty good year was, was a sign that um, that we're still going to achieve decent results, hopefully, in the end. But like I said, there's also the, 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 the chance of having a catastrophic kind of tail risk scenario where even some of these online polls seem to calibrate themselves to what the, what the telephone polls are doing. So you might have one bad year, but, but still, um, I know, it's kind of a miracle the polls did as well as they did, frankly.